Now, your news on the go. Syracuse Fire Department responding to two house fires this morning. The first one actually sent two people to the hospital. Our Ashley Gafaro is at the scene on Burdick Avenue. Ashley, what can you tell us? Nicole and Ryan, things are starting to quiet down, but it's still an active scene here. Now, the two people that were sent to the hospital lived in the home where the fire broke out. Their condition is unknown at this time. Now, calls came in around 445 this morning. Um, the homeowners were woken up by the smell of smoke. The fire started in the basement, making its way up to the first floor. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. We are told that the American Red Cross is assisting the two people that lived in the home because they are not able to return. Um, make sure to stick with us on air and online as we continue to follow this developing story. Live in Syracuse, Ashley Caffaro, News Channel 9. Ashley, thank you. We go now to East Genesee Street near Westcott Street. It is right next to the fire station there. Crews are putting out a fire on the second and third floors. The fire department says they know the property to be vacant, but they did check the first floor for anyone inside just in case they were unable to get to the other two floors at this time. Not reporting any injuries, but it was a very busy morning. They told us their resources are being used earlier and stretched a bit thin with these two fires. Busy morning for our first responders. Hey, airport prices are up and parking spots are gone with spring break just over a week away. Way. Parking at the Syracuse Airport is already full. All of the pre book parking spots are filled for the week of April 9th to the 16th. They're sold out, so plan ahead if you're going out of town that week. Make sure you have an alternate plan. From the skies to the ground, this is a sure sign of spring. The winter speed limit along the Onondaga Lake Parkway now goes back up today. During the winter months, we know it's lower to 45 miles per hour because of the blowing and drifting snow on the lake. So as of this morning, it's April 1st. You can now drive 55 on the parkway.